Hello, it's Monday, May 25th, 2020, and I want to remember the time in the mid-1980s that I burned all the marijuana. And here's how it happened. Um, I was living in Texas, in Dallas, uh, and sharing a house with my friend John Sheridan. And John loved his marijuana. Uh, You know, uh, he smoked it to relax and, you know, that was his thing. So, this one evening, I came home from work. I think I was working at uh, an actuarial firm called Harry T. Edson and Associates um, with a whole bunch of my other uh, gay friends and all. Um, And so I came home, and it was after dark, um, and I I walked along, I, I parked on the street, but I walked, I didn't go in the front door, I walked around to the back of the house, which was my habit, to enter, um, and when I got there, the sliding glass doors were open, the lights were out, there was nobody, and I thought, oh, something's not right here, you know, so... I got back in my car and I drove over to my friend Buck, Buck Massey's house. And, uh, and I told Buck what had happened and, uh, Buck suggested, maybe you better call the police, you know. So I called the Dallas police department and I gave them the address and I said, you know, I got home and our back door was open and the lights were on and, and were, were not on, you know. Um, can can you come help investigate? And they said, yes, we'll be right over. And uh, they said, if you return to the house, don't go in the house, you know. So I drove back to the house and I parked on the street again. And I could see that uh, the police officers were in, in the house because I could, see, well, I saw the car, the squad car on the street And I could see flashlights inside the house, you know. So I'm standing in front of the house and this this police officer opens the front door and he's holding in his hand the cookie sheet that I think John left it on, on his bed that had all of his pot and all the paraphernalia that he used to roll his joints and all of that. The cop is holding this cookie sheet in his hands, and he was actually very cool. This is Dallas in the mid-1980s. And he says to me, you may want to uh, get rid of this before the detectives arrive, who were coming to, you know, uh, process the, the crime scene, because we'd been robbed, you know. So I said, oh, okay, thanks, officer. So he gave me the cookie sheet, and I went inside, and I'm looking around, and I'm thinking, what what, what the hell am I going to do with this? So I put it in the oven. (laughs) It was a cookie sheet. I put it in the oven, you know. So uh, the, um, the detectives arrive, and they, you know, do their investigation and all of that, and... Uh, what, I don't know what was missing, uh, the television, the stereo, uh, you know. Somebody busted in, you know, you know, for looking for drug money, I guess, you know, and took took what they could, and uh, I think they went up and down the alley, and uh, I, I don't know if they found anything. They, of course, they never solved the case, you know. Well, of course, I forgot about... Uh, <laughs> the pot and all of the chaos and all of that. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, uh, I don't know what John was cooking or something. Maybe he had the munchies for Toll House cookies or something. I don't know. So he preheats the oven and all, and boom, there goes his pot. So that's where the pot went. Be fabulous. <laughs>